Good afternoon, and thank you for listening. I'm excited to be here talking about agriculture issues that impact our rural communities here in southern Minnesota. On the House floor this week, I had the honor of speaking on behalf of legislation that's going to help protect our food supply and our farmers and agribusinesses in southern Minnesota. The Protecting America's Food and Agriculture Act passed the Senate. It's passed the House, I'm happy to say, with my vote and others. And now we've sent it to the president's desk for his approval. My focus on protecting our food supply and farmers has been pretty intent lately, especially when it comes to infectious diseases. We need to protect our country, our ports of entry from those, especially the African swine fever. Many may not realize that half of China's hogs have been slaughtered because of the African swine fever, and that disease has moved to the Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, and even Poland in the European Union. It's devastating, and to think that 10% of Minnesota's exports are pork, we have to do everything we can to keep that virus out of the United States. The African swine fever presents both an opportunity and a challenge. Of course, the opportunity is our pork producers and other producers may be able to expand their operations and export around the world to meet supply. The challenge, of course, is what happens if African swine fever enters the United States. It'll be devastating not just to our pork farmers, but to our soybean and corn growers, the people that sell the seed corn, the folks at the packing plants, all the way down to Main Street, and it's going to drive up the price of pork and other food products for the American people. Our bill, the one that we passed, the Protecting America's Food and Agriculture Act, well, we beef up the number of inspectors that we have at our points of entry. And that's important because we're doing everything we can to check people as they come into the United States for pork products that might not be proper. We also expand the Beagle Brigades, and those are the dogs that are out there, and they can sniff out the pork. In fact, they're so good at their job, I said, we should take them down to the Appropriations Committee and sniff out the pork there and drive down the deficit. So I can tell you that here in Washington, we're doing everything possible to make sure that the United States Department of Agriculture, the Department of Homeland Security, that they work together and help protect us and the American people and our food supply. And in the future, I may add that we'll probably be working to have them form a task force so they can work more cooperatively with Congress and we can do everything we can to protect the American people. Thanks for listening to today's Agriculture Update. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact my office at hagedorn.house.gov. I'm Jim Hagedorn. Thanks for listening.